Hello boys and girls, I hope you're well. Today, I'm going to talk to you about Zach, my friend Zach, and my friend Tim. Now, let's just say they're born again boys. They both love Jesus with all of their hearts, but I'm going to show you that they live very different lives. Now, Zach here, he loves the Lord with all of his heart and, and he wants to please God. He reads his Bible and prays, he obeys his parents and he puts on the armor of God. Now, you might ask me, what is the armor of God? In Ephesians 6, the Bible says that we are to put on the full armor of God. That means we are to put on the belt of truth. Now, that means that Zach chooses to tell the truth. He doesn't lie, he's not deceitful to his parents or teachers, but he's truthful in all that he does. Then he has the breastplate of righteousness. That means that he chooses to do the right thing according to God. He also has the helmet of salvation. That means that he's, he's accepted Jesus into his heart and Jesus is the Lord of his life. He also puts on the shoes of the gospel of peace. That means that he shares the gospel to his friends and what Jesus can do for them. He also picks up the shield of faith. That means sometimes Zach will face doubt or fears, even sin. But when he picks up the shield of faith, he is able to resist those arrows. He also has the sword of the Spirit. That means that Zach has accepted the Holy Spirit to come and live inside of him, which allows him, when he reads his Bible and prays, it allows him to discern what is right and wrong and what God wants him to do. Now, unfortunately, our friend Tin here, as you can see, he doesn't really have the armor of God. He doesn't have the belt of truth, so he lies and he cheats and he's deceitful in his ways. He hasn't chosen to put on the breastplate of righteousness, so he doesn't make the right decisions and he does not honor God in all that he does. So let's say Zach and Tim go to school every day. So off they go to school. There you go, they're both at school. Now, every single day, we have to face temptation. Now, I know that's a big word. Temptation means that it's a decision whether I choose to sin or not to sin. Do I lie to my teacher or do I tell the truth? Do I cheat or don't I cheat? Am I kind to my friends or do I say hurtful words? Now, let's see what happens when Zach Anton are faced with temptation and the choice to sin or not to sin. Let's see what happens. <gasps> Can you see? Zach was able to float and he was able to rise above the sin and above the temptation. But Tin here doesn't have the armor of God, so he wasn't able to make that right decision. And he was overcome by sin and filled with the things of the world. I want to encourage you boys and girls to, to read your Bible, to pray, to know God for yourselves and to put on the armor of God. May the Lord bless you. We'll see you soon.